What's up, everybody, and welcome back. I am John Levesque, your host, and I am here with my friend, Abhinav. Abhinav, I am not going to attempt your last name because I don't think I will do it justice. And so I'm going to please go ahead and allow you, sir. Why don't you introduce yourself to everybody? Thanks, John. Uh, I'm Abhinav Anand Veera Raghavan. Uh, I've been, uh, you know, a part of Arcades, which is a digital consulting company for the past five years. Uh, it's been a roller coaster ride after the introduction of the whole Microsoft suite of the Power Platform. And then we've done a lot of data analytics, insights and bringing uh, data and insights clients to, uh, to life. Right. So that was something, a major thing that we were able to do using the Power Platform and all the technologies over here. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. And so I actually got introduced to Abhinav uh, through the online conference. Uh, he put in a session for the online conference. And as you know, there were 170 something <laughs> sessions submitted and only 18 chosen. And so his was not one of the one chosen this year. But what was great was I put out a call to a lot of the speakers who weren't chosen. I said, hey, I would love to make a video with you. I'd love to have you on my channel. If you're into that, drop me a line. And Abhinav mm -hmm. did. And so after some some back and forth, we are here today to do the video. And and from what I understand, Abhinav is going to show us something that not a lot of you guys are using. He's going to show us how he's doing an audit system for his customers, but in a very special and unique way. I'm not going to spoil it. So Abhinav, my friend, the floor is yours. Please take it away. All right. Uh, I so see this it. is just again a uh, little bit about myself, right? That we just went through. But what we kind of do for our customers overall uh, is to provide this audit solution using Microsoft tools, right? And it, within each audit, it has these various parts, which starts from kind of the task management part, it goes on to pre-assessment questionnaire, scheduling, auditor training assessment, and uh, the results consolidation. Now, obviously for different customers, all these things kind of vary from time to time, but the core of it, the essence of it kind of stays the same. Uh, so what we kind of went through is how do we use and go through each of these parts using the Microsoft Power Platform technology, right? So when we break into each of these parts itself, uh, for example, the task management, right? You can use SharePoint for just the task ta uh, tracker and management itself. We use Power Apps to update it, look at the tasks and so on and so forth too. And then you can use even Power BI to do the analytics and track it and provide your client the single source of truth of uh, the analytics for the tasks and monitor your project overall. Then the pre-assessment questionnaire, you can do forms, you can do notifications, right? You can kind of automate the notifications to send triggers based on when people have finished your survey. You can kind of store all the data automatically based on people filling in the forms into a SharePoint list, right? And all this is kind of now possible with Power Automate. And, you know, it's, it's really powerful because it kind of delineates one, the man hours required to practically go and copy paste this information into a single source of truth. But also when you're working on a global program and when you know you're working all around the globe, you may not be awake at the time someone in Shanghai fills in the form, right? So it's yeah. really helpful uh, for us to be able to automate it and then be notified in the morning when you wake up that, hey, you know, uh, someone has filled in the form kind of a thing. Nice. Uh, yep. And then, you know, we use scheduling, we used again, uh, a lot of Excel tools, Power Queries was something that we restarted recently using around uh, one and a half years back. Uh, obviously, many people are privy to it a lot more, but it's a really powerful part of Excel that I feel many people don't usually use a lot, uh, but you can power it uh, into Flow again, right? Using Power Automate and then uh, do scheduling metrics based on the schedule too. Uh, so now, just as so I'm clear and everyone's with us, as you're mm -hmm. walking through this, this is actually the solution, right? And all the different yeah. connectors that you're using to actually put this all together. And, and so what we're seeing here is stage by stage, as things are happening, the tools that you're then using to bring that all together. Yeah, thanks awesome. so much. Joe. Yeah, Very cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and again, right, to, to that earlier point, all these are bits and pieces and based on your own program, we can then go into the program and then split it and then create uh, the solution best fit uh, for the need. Yep. Uh, and, you know, the auditor training kind of brings into forth the functionality that, hey, not everything needs to be Microsoft, right? In case something is already available within your system, we can then link to Microsoft. And we, you know, you've shown many powerful videos where connectors can be built 
in flow in automate right where you can directly connect to the systems bring over data i really had fun with the whole spotify connector that you I had created uh, that was so cool vivek yeah. man that was awesome you should have seen the first version of that when we were on a road trip it was it was hacky hacky glory it was awesome yeah we, but really awesome stuff right it really gets excited it gets us excited but also our clients excited when they look at this information they see that hey you know we had an idea but now we're able to realize it using the awesome technology that you know you guys have uh, in awesome. the whole power platform space yeah uh, and then, you know, kind of going into the assessment itself, uh, when we have the assessment, you can use various metadata to kind of walk through the different stages, right? And Visio is really powerful kind of in two places, one for the pre-assessment kind of workflow stuff itself, and I'll kind of show you how we can templatize a lot of what we are doing uh, in a quick bit. But, but that was one of the ways that we use Visio to kind of look through the different workflows. And then Power BI, you know, you can see each and every step of the process. Uh, kind of Power Automate uh, and Power BI is so integral to to all of that. And I obviously, like that. yeah. I like um, seeing the Visio in there. It's not often that we see the Visio in the Power Platform like workflow stages of things. So that's I like that. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely uh, excited to show it off. Uh, but so after that, we have the final approvals, right? The audit analytics and AI and data science, which is really cool now that you can access those cognitive analytics automatically using power uh, you know using power bi and using power automate too so that's really interesting that we start to explore a little bit more and more on how we can bring that to the audit space but uh, that uh, is something that we can uh, explore a little bit more on but today going back to what we were talking about templatization i'm going to quickly switch to our visual if that's okay okay yeah let's do it all right, so over here, when we were talking about the video flow, right, the main question kind of came to uh, in our organization was how do we templatize this process? How do we make it more and more streamlined? How can we kind of replicate this process through all our clients, right? How do we not take the same amount of time each time we need to build a solution? And then Visio came in really handy for that. So for over here, what you can kind of see is in Visio, uh, in one of uh, the professional on the desktop side, right? They have something called as BPM and basic shapes. Now, what these BPM and basic shapes allow you to do is when you not only put, uh, when you put it over here, it not only allows you to streamline how the process looks like, but you can connect these uh, BPM and shapes to tasks uh, in your flow itself, right? So, for example, we have uh, these basic shapes available over here. Each of these shapes triggers a particular activity in Power Automate. So for example, over here, this one is triggered to a form getting submitted. This hold on, one- Hold on, so, so are you building a flow in Visio? Yes, so we are building a flow in Visio. That is awesome. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's really cool the way that when once we started to play around with this a little bit more, the power of each of these tools became became so much evident, right? Because now not everyone needs to know one the subject matter to build the flow, but also they don't need to specifically sit down and build each step of the flow itself. We can just provide this template. All they need to do is hit export, and they can kind of go uh, get the flow automatically on this page and. Uh, we'll quickly go through that uh, over here. Cool, very yeah. cool. And so each of your stages here is outlined at the top. You kind of have each stage set up, and then are the, the do the various parts of the flow live within those stages in the Visio here? So over here, we built out just the pre-assessment questionnaire part, but okay. this was something that you could do, right? You can build okay. out each of these stages for each of those parts and then you can build the flow that is required for each of those steps, right? So for example, in your program for a pre-assessment questionnaire, these are the parts, right? For example, you get a new response. The response gets identified as to which program it is, right? Whether it is uh, a health and safety program or whether it is a responsible workplace program or which program it is, and then it goes to specific people, right? It goes to database one versus this goes to the second database and nice. then it notifies the different people. So you kind of can first, without even getting to the automation part of it, just think through what your process flow would look like. And, and that then, is 
that's so valuable to every organization because I think that's something that a lot of them don't do, right? Like mm -hmm. if you automate a poor process, that doesn't make it a good process. It just makes it a poorly uh, – an automated poor process, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I think this is – yeah, this is key. Awesome stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And, uh, you know, and then you can kind of like over here where uh, we're looking at, right? So each of these have a trigger and then they have some conditions too. So you can kind of go through each of these steps and then connect what is the trigger, what is the condition and select each action as to what it should be. Uh, and we'll go over a quick, simple thing and I'll show you how an exported full fledged show would look like. OK, awesome. Right. Uh, so over here, right, it's it's pretty simple to be honest. The main things are uh, one, you need to select uh, the BPM and shapes, right? And each of them have kind of start event and task and then gateway. These are kind of the three main things that I personally use, right? I'm sure there are a lot more and we can, uh, a lot more intensive uh, applications that can be done. But if you think about it, right, one is you trigger an event. Uh, you have some decisions that you need to make. And based on those decisions, there are different tasks that you can make. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So let's kind of think that these are the basic kind of steps that uh, you have over here. And then let's put in some connectors for that, right? So, right. So we we'll say that once this particular uh, has, you know, the start event happens. And if I can copy paste properly. So I see. Okay, so the start event is your trigger, mm -hmm. and then the gateway is your condition, mm -hmm. and then your tasks are your actions. Yep. I see. Okay. I'm just trying to map this one to one and to flow in my head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. And yep, it's exactly uh, in that way. Uh, and now, so once you have kind of this basic setup available, you do need to get uh, through some basic steps, right? So for example, you need to ensure that each of these steps have a name uh, per se, uh, so that you can give them connectors and then export it a little bit more seamlessly. But once you go through each of those steps and you hit that export button, you then get uh, this map information over here where you can say all right this is the start event trigger and when does this happen right so that you can do in the trigger action spot of it and you can see automatically when i kind of did that export in process and did uh, that part of it you can see all these buttons popped up right which nice. is actually uh in sync with your power automate side of the house so that, yeah that makes things way easier because now i can see like you know conditional check over here yes or no and then mm -hmm. the actions and that that's pretty neat mm -hmm. um yep absolutely so okay. over here for example you can choose uh when it you know a sharepoint file is created or when a form is created and it has those same search functionalities and all of that that you could find online too so it's it's really cool in that format right Very so cool. Yep. So once you create this and hit export, it can then automatically export uh, the entire flow online. What I think would be uh, maybe a fun thing to do is export the one that we've already created, if, if that makes sense. Yeah, let's do it. I'd love to see this work. All right. So if we go over here, if we click export, right? And since everything is already preset, we've already gone through all the different steps that I was previously mentioning, right? And now when you hit export, it'll do the automatic loading to uh, your profile, right? And then you oh. can give this a uh, name. Let's say Visio integration template for audits. Right? And then you can create a flow. And it kind of does it everything for you, right? It yeah. created the few, it says flow is created. Awesome. And you can click over here, directly go to Power Automate itself. And then it takes you directly to your flow. Wow. And, yep. So all that pre whiteboarding on a uh, visual that you did with your business partners is now identified and then created over here. And all you had to do is a few clicks and all you need to do in the future is a few clicks too, so that you can get it to this stage automatically. And now you can select the form right for which you need the details for you can select the you know conditions that you need 
you can select which SharePoint it needs to go to, and you know all that becomes realized in, in the space itself. Boom, man, that is nice. Yep, absolutely. That is so cool. So I, I love your approach to this. I feel like I, I have not seen this approach in too many places. And so it it's, uh, but it's pretty genius because instead of giving someone an, a JSON package or a flow import export, where they they might not understand how to customize things in the flow mm -hmm. editor mm -hmm. instead if you give them this file they're able to go ahead and make those edits before it even gets there yeah yeah that's really genius i i really like that that's very very cool thank you it's you know it's uh, something that you guys have developed you guys have also templates for this to be honest and this is something that uh, you know, people can also just go and see over here. If you look at the templates and if you just look at, I believe, Visio templates, uh, they kind of pop up and they have some really good examples for you to uh, look at and then maybe just download them uh, and then you can use it over here, right? So they have examples, they oh. have how to do stuff and all of that already available. So Wow, yeah. I didn't even know that those were there. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. That's an added bonus. Okay. Awesome. Well, man, Abhinav, thank you so much for coming and sharing this with us. This has been fantastic. I know that a lot of people now are probably going to start tweaking around with Vizio, trying to make some flows. So yeah. uh, huge, huge thanks to you for coming and joining us. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me, Dorit. It was a pleasure. Awesome. All right. And so if you guys want to connect with Abhinav, go ahead and check the description. I'll have his LinkedIn down there so you can get connected with him. Ask him more about this solution and what they're doing over at Arcadis. And, uh, and that's it, guys. That's it for today's video. You know what to do. Click like, click subscribe, hit that little bell so that you get notifications whenever a new video comes out. Yeah. All right. All right. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks so much, Abhinav. Thank you. All right. Much love, guys. See you in the next one.